Hey y'all, I'm Rick Sky here, and I want to test the Mavic Air with, uh, with actually very, not super strong winds, but quite strong winds. I forgot my anemometer today, but we're experiencing intermittent gust from that direction. Right now, there's not a gust coming through, but I hear one coming. And uh, I would estimate, actually the wind speed, the wind has changed direction. Now it's coming from that direction. So don't have an anemometer today, but estimated around 15 knots is probably what it is. So what I want to do without further ado is go ahead and uh, and get my Mavic Air airborne and without going in sport mode or anything, just in regular mode, we're going to fly around. We're going to make some, uh, we're going to do some standard flight, which is how I would typically fly if, uh, you know, if I was trying to capture that really good cinematic video. So I'm going to fly, fly in that fashion first and then we'll get a little bit crazier. We've got 99% battery life. I'm gonna go ahead and hit record on the Mavic Air and I'm gonna get it airborne. Here comes a wind gust too, this is great. Take off. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna bring her over here by the camera so you can see the, the wind affecting it. So the wind's changing directions quite a bit. It was now it's coming this way. So I'm flying into the wind right now. What about 10.7 miles per hour? Now we got a really strong wind gust. I'm going to take her up to a, a safe and responsible altitude, but hopefully capture a little bit more wind at the 51 feet above ground level. Flying backwards. Now I'm going to go to the left. Now I'm gonna go to the right, straight ahead. You can tell it's really struggling going forward now because the wind is going into the wind. But I bet when we come back, I see now the wind's blowing that way. The wind's blowing that way now. So now I'm going with the wind in reverse, but it should be faster. Now there's a big gust kicking up, so I'm gonna go into the wind. Oh, wow. High wind velocity, that, that, was, uh, that was kind of freaky there. So I got a high wind velocity alert, and I tried to go forward into the wind, and the drone temporarily stalled because the wind was so strong that it couldn't go forward. It delayed for for a, for a few seconds and I got that pop up about wind velocity. So that's that's pretty interesting. Now we got a pretty strong gust. Just for testing purposes, I'm not touching the controls at all right now. I'm letting it hover at about 60 feet above ground level. So uh, we'll see if, uh, if just by hovering, if there's any sort of fluctuation, obviously maintaining visual line of sight with the aircraft. And I can tell that it's, so far it doesn't seem that it's moved. So let's see if this trend continues. Again, we're at 60 feet above ground level. Now there's a strong gust. That strong gust is going that way. And again, we got high wind velocity. Fly with caution and ensure your aircraft remains in line of sight. Obviously, whether there's wind gust or not, I'm always gonna be maintaining visual line of sight with the naked eye. These don't magnify or anything. These are just sunglasses. So let's see what happens here. Okay, now I saw it kind of correct for the wind. 
Let's fly into the wind. So the wind, if I fly into the wind, I'll go that way. Now I'm going to go with the wind. So the wind is pushing it along. Now let's fly forward and go into the wind. Now I'm flying into the wind. So it actually is handling pretty well. One thing I wish that we got within the DJI Go app was wind speed. Why can't the, if it knows that there's high wind, why can't the app say, okay, it's so many knots, you know, give you the wind speed. Okay, now there's a strong gust, and I'm going to try to go straight into the strong gust. You can see now with the stick fully depressed, it started at a slow rate of speed. But then it picked up to 17 miles per hour. Attitude is too large. Backward obstacle sensing is unavailable. Now the wind's so strong, I'm kind of worried about my camera equipment. So I'm going to get behind it so I can maintain visual line of sight with the aircraft while making sure my tripod does not fall over due to the excessive wind. This is the strongest wind that I've ever flown in. I'm going to bring this down a little bit because actually it's, it's strong enough now to where I'm concerned that if it caught a strong gust that it may take it away from my field and I don't want to do that. Let's bring her down to a low altitude here. You know, again, this video is all about looking at the, the uh, video quality and stability while flying in wind. So I know there's not a lot of awesome footage to look at, but what we do have is the opportunity to experience the performance in wind. Obstacle avoidance on the rear of the drone is working, so it won't go backwards because it sees me and my camera. Now I go forward, it'll stop chirping because it knows I'm as far away. Low altitude here, we still got a wind gust and I'm uh, about three feet over the ground. Let's do a sharp right. Now let's do a sharp left. Now let's go in reverse. Flying in reverse. See if obstacle avoidance still senses me. It does. Now let's go forward and see if obstacle avoidance senses me. So now the camera's facing us. Again, always assume obstacle avoidance won't work. <laughs> If it failed, it would be a very painful experience. Don't want to get cut up by a drone. I'm really impressed. I think we're, uh, okay, there's a wind gust now. Let me show you these leaves on the ground, just kind of a point of reference. Let's see, let me see if I can get them on the camera here. Yeah, see those leaves blowing? Okay, now I expect the drone to start to toss around a little bit because there's a very strong wind gust. Very, very strong. But it's handling really well. You know, we're getting those warnings. Here's a leaf in the air. Let's see if we can chase it. That would be cool. It's right getting, I don't know, I'm, I'm watching the drone, so I'm not FPV right now. Let's see if we can catch that leaf. Oh, there's a tree. Whoa. Just a word of caution. If you are flying in windy conditions, just like traveling at a high rate of speed on ice or something slick, you get that speed going, and then you gotta come to a quick stop, you're probably gonna coast a little bit. And that was a the scenario there where I almost ran into a tree because of the wind and the higher rate of speed. I almost ran into the tree. So that could have been catastrophic for the drone. And I don't want to destroy the Mavic Air. I love the Mavic Air. Again, at the time of filming this video, the Mavic Air is my, is my favorite drone. It used to be the Phantom 4, but since this came out, smaller, more lightweight, more uh, obviously more portable, 
You know, why do I want to carry something that's bigger, something that's heavier? Why not just use this when I can get such rock solid performance from something so small and something so lightweight, but something that handles the wind as well as it seems to be doing? Again, the real test will be once we watch this video. When you're watching this video, oh, here's another wind gust. Now I'm flying into the wind. See the leaves coming at us? When we watch this video together on YouTube, and you tell me, is the video shaky? Is it, uh, you know, is the wind messing with it? That was a near accident. I almost hit my camera equipment because I was giving it gas, accelerating the drone, flying with the wind, and at that point in time, the wind was going towards the camera equipment. So that was going so fast that obstacle avoidance didn't even, uh, wasn't even gonna save me, so I got lucky. So again, if you're flying even in mild amount of wind, be exceptionally careful. Now, let's see if we can land it in this wind gust. There's a wind gust right now. Let's see if we can land it. I'm gonna try to put it right down on the yellow. Here we go. So, that was a pretty challenging landing, you know, since it was so windy. Very strong wind gust. Again, I don't have an anemometer today, but I estimate that the wind gusts were probably around 12 knots. And curiously enough, the direction of the wind gust constantly changed. I had it coming from my rear, coming from my front, coming from my side, and the drone in all scenarios seemed to hold up well. Lessons learned during this moderate wind was don't fly near tree branches and stuff like that. Don't fly near your camera equipment because that wind gust, it can even pick up more while it's gusting. Like right now, since I've started filming this video, the gust picked up even more. So you got to think about ice skating or skiing. You know, once you get that momentum, once you get that speed going, it's it becomes more difficult to stop quickly. So the same is applicable with this. You're in the air with a drone. It doesn't matter if it has obstacle avoidance or not. If there's wind gust, that's carrying that thing forward or, uh, or backwards at a higher rate of speed, the stopping distance is going to be greater. So take all that into account. Best case scenario, if there's wind out, consider not flying unless you are an expert and you have hundreds of hours under your belt as a, as a drone pilot like I do. But even then, you know, expect the worst and be, be constantly aware of what's around you and should the wind pick up and, and create a catastrophic failure for the drone, you know, a crash into something or crash into the ground, make sure that it's something that's not uh, not going to create damage for you. I mean, if it's, if it's, you know, your land and it's a natural uh, tree or something that, that uh, you know, is going to be able to withstand the impact of a tiny drone, you know, maybe that's okay. Just be sure, <laughs> be sure there's nothing in that tree that's endangered or whatever, because then you could be in a world of hurt. So, you know, constantly be aware of what's around you and, you know, perform a site survey before you even go out and fly. You know, be aware of what's around you. And should wind picked up, pick up, should unexpected weather pick up, should your drone encounter technical difficulties during flight unexpectedly, you know, have an exit plan, have an emergency plan. If this, then that. Know how to react within seconds. Because within seconds, that drone could be, today, for example, could have been right in front of this uh, Carl Zeiss, uh, lens that I've got on this camera and that wouldn't have been nice so thanks for watching check out epicdroneshow.com you can find all the drones all the drone accessories uh, epic drone show merchandise and a whole lot more and be sure to follow me on social media and you can just go to epicdroneshow.com you can click the links there follow me on YouTube Twitter Facebook Instagram Pinterest and hey thanks for watching and y'all have a good day hey y'all I Rick Sky here if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.